Hello Bass family and welcome to Everything Bass. You know I shot on a whim, I shot a video called Music Apps That Will Make You a Best Better Bass Player. And I'm glad I had the kind of intuition to put number one because that video did great. Uh, got tons of likes, tons of comments, people following me up with asking questions about you know certain experiences. Anyway, uh, so I decided to jump right in and do uh, Music Apps That Will Make You a Better Bass Player 2, the sequel, Revenge of the Music Apps, if you will. Um, and we're going to start with a very important one to, mm, gosh, my life the last couple of years. And it's a program called Notion. And it's a music uh, notating app, but with a lot of cool elements. I'm going to find, well, I'll do a brand new one. Okay, so um, let me first of all show you. It looks like that's the icon right there and tap on the icon it opens up and you can create a document it's this simple you hit plus sign you pick bass clef um, and then when you hit continue i'm going to add to it because it's bass clef it could be any bass clef instrument i'm going to go in and quickly add four string bass which is very very cool it's a, a simple process of actually going and adding a part or taking out a part so i just add four string bass and i'm doing this for a reason adding this I'm gonna get rid of that okay so there's a bunch of uh, reasons why this is such a cool program first of all it's so simple to use and I'm hopefully you'll be able to see this I don't have a tool two camera setup yet but hopefully future uh, simple pinch and zoom works when you want to uh, you know move into a certain part now this is set up to do both tab and standard notation you can do just standard notation there's no problem there um, and it's easy to Boop, 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 move around. You can change the name on something simply as just tapping on it and typing into it. But what I wanted to show you is a cool method of inputting data. Um, of course, you can pick, um, it'll give you a bass neck, and you can pick, like, let's say I want to do eighth notes. You go down here, you select eighth notes, and then just by hitting on the bass neck, you can kind of see that it puts up there. Now I turn the volume down, but I can turn it up and it'll actually play the note. Uh, and you see how it's automatically put it up there. Now you can change the rhythm simply by tapping on a different rhythm and then playing a note. You get 30 second notes there. Um, but that's not really sold me on this particular program. What I like about Notion is that you can notate with your finger or an eye pen or anything. So let's zoom in here and check it out. I can go to this staff and I hope the camera's picking this up. But I can do like, okay, I want a quarter note, E. Boom. Boom, perfect. After years of having to do stuff by hand or struggling with really, really difficult programs on how to input, this is a dream come true. If I want to put a dot after it, boom, right there, dot after it. You want to get an eighth note? No, 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 whoop, whoop. May, my ugly eighth note becomes beautiful, right like that. Uh, and they have so many notations. Um, you want to get a quarter note rest in there, right like that, that. That's how easy it is. Um, now it does learn from you like I had a certain way of doing my quarter note rest when I first did it it came back with you know like if you input it and if you delete it and put in the right one you know try it again and get the right one it remembers like what your particular notation style is so don't be frustrated if when you first do this it keeps like confusing eighth notes with sixteenth notes it might be because the way you're doing your flag seems where you slow it down kind of do it over and over again and it'll get right this is how I do all the notation for the sheet music you can download from my Patreon account. But this Notion app is great. Now, another benefit of it, I'm going to get out of this one. And just so I don't create a confusion later, I'm going to delete that file, which is easy enough. You just hold down. It brings up a field of things you can do, rename and stuff, and you hit delete, and it's gone. Um, but when I'm doing transcriptions of my own parts or learning other things, one of the biggest things you can kind of get, usually you can get the, 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 the note values right, meaning the, the pitch. You can get the pitch correct, but sometimes you might think, oh, that's a 16 note triplet, and it's actually two 16 notes and an 8th note, whatnot. So here's what's really cool. If you're working on a sight reading basis, you want to be better as a sight reader, you can actually, let me see if I have a file with some good notation in it. Uh, you can actually... Uh, transcribe it out and write it in and then listen back to it let's listen uh, let's see come on there's got to be something good I just went through and clean oh okay this is a good one 
All right, so let's say you're working on a piece of music like this, and you, you write it out into it, and when you go down here, there's just the normal play, pause, all that stuff. If you hit the play, I'm gonna crank this so I hope you can hear it on my mic. But you play it from the beginning. So you can actually check yourself. Am I reading this rhythm right? Write the rhythm in, push play, it'll play it. What's nice about this, yeah, it's not human. It has to play it as you're inputting it. It can't interpret it, it can't do anything other than this is what you wrote, is this correct? I found this helped me with my syncopated 16th note reading by being able to input it here and listen back to it, go, oh yeah, I'm not playing that right. Uh, definitely my transcriptions became much more accurate because I would transcribe it, push play, and if it sounded like the song, it was right. So Notion would be a big plus for you guys. Whether you're a pro player or you're someone just learning to read, I think it's a great program for you to start with. I highly recommend it. It's $14.99 on the uh, uh, Apple Store, I, uh, uh, iTunes. I don't know if you, or Apple App Store, I guess. Um, I don't know if it's available for Android. I didn't check before recording, my bad, but you could look on the Android and see if it has. I do know that the Surface has another program similar, the Microsoft Surface tablet. Uh, that's very similar, and I saw ads for it. It seems like it has the same kind of input notation thing. That thing's a dream. If you've struggled with like learning how to use real complex programs, this is a great way to go. If you get it and you have any questions, put it in the comment below, and we'll direct message, and I can help you through it. I do love Notion. I think that's great. Uh, let's see. What's next on the Hit Parade? Okay. This is a great program, and it's I, re I referenced it in my series on building your own slap bass lines, but this program is called... Drum Beats Plus. I'm going to hit the icon so you can see it load up with a little snare drum and two sticks. Loads up, and these are all drum beats that are recorded and really, really well done. And um, it gives you a starter pack of some basic beats, and that's a lot. There's quite a few, but you can also have in app purchases because the basic program, I want to say, is $4.99, I believe. But you have in app purchases where you can buy like drum packs, Nashville drum packs, uh, punk rock drum packs. But let's give it a couple of listens. Let's, here's Pop Rocker 120 Beats. Now, changing the tempo is simple enough. There's 70 beats, 95 beats. See how simple it is? It sounds pretty good. It sounds like a good live recording. So practicing along is really cool. But that's that's there. Here's head banging. Uh, here's just click track. Let's see it's loading. That's a three-four click track. Uh, here's Coffee Shop Swing. I don't even know what that is. So if you're looking for a, a very affordable drum program, and if you can plug this into like a headphone system where you're practicing your bass or into your, your amp, maybe your amp has an auxiliary in, then you have a drum machine. And although it's not programmable, they're always adding content to it. Uh, I bought a couple of the packs. Um, yeah, I bought... R&B Essentials. You know, I just love this program. For so cheap to have a functioning drum machine that you can practice along with and come up with drum ideas, this would be a perfect partner with learning uh, to build your own slap grooves where I talk about using the kick drum and the snare drum as an inspiration for your slap and pop patterns. This program, Drum Beats Plus, you can't beat it. It's so affordable. $4.99 to have that quality of a drum machine, that easy to change tempos. Uh, it's brilliant. Um, so yeah, check out Drum Beats Plus if you're looking for a drum beat, a drum machine that you want to play along with and you have a device that can use it. And then lastly, I'm going to switch um, to my other iPad. Now I have an iPad that I use just for gigs. It's a little smaller than that one. And one of the reasons I use it is for this program called come on watch me brick my iPad live on YouTube no okay it's called iClip stage little I like iPhone K L I P stage and it is that's what it looks like loading Let's see if I can get that and it is uh, it puts shoot music on it um, and you can upload any P any PDF so I know that like uh, guitarinstructor.com 
Um, any of the churches I play with, they offer their uh, sheet music in, in PDF form. And I can just input it in here. Now what I usually do is I input it first into a program called PDF Expert. And it allows me to make notations like when to come in, intro, anything that the music director changes, like we're gonna repeat this four times, not three times like on the recording, I'll notate it. But let me show you what it looks like. This is for a church gig I have. So it has, oops, has the sheet music. Now uh, you can obviously just go, it's not really sheet music, but it has the chart. And you can play along with it and swipe to the next thing. I have this on a stand, on a microphone stand. Uh, I made a little holder myself because I had it a certain way I wanted it. But you can buy holders very cheaply. But if you get this, this is a free program, by the way. iClip Stage was free on iTunes uh, or the App Store, Apple App Store. But this is a must-have. This is the iRig Blue Turn. It's a Bluetooth device that links with most tablets. Uh, I know friends who use it with the Android uh, tablet. Um, the Kindle Fire and I use it with here and now I can make page changes with my foot it's so simple you turn it on you turn on your Bluetooth on your tablet you'll see it as a device you connect to the device and then you don't have to do that every time every time I turn this on it's automatically connected through Bluetooth and, and I, by the way it goes through the entire set like I'm going through all the set that we played last uh, last time I played in church and it literally goes through all the songs just with a foot tap. It is a brilliant. Now this is $79.95 uh, currently on Amazon. Uh, it does go on sale occasionally, um, but uh, I think it's worth it for a free program to have this ability to uh, no longer have to, and I've used it for sight reading gigs where I've actually had standard rotation. And if you guys have been sight reading gigs and you've had to like, remember the accordion where you take all your sheet music for one song and you tape them together and they become this really weird accordion. You have to get three music stands and you put them up there or you have one music stand that's in a, in a binder and you have to like be playing and switching. Get rid of that. Ask for the PDF, the music directors. I haven't found yet a music director that won't send you the PDF. Input it into the iPad and go. It's so perfect. I do use the smaller iPad. Um, I haven't put it on my iPad Pro. Just It just seems to work out better that way. Um, but as my, as my eyesight fades, you'll probably see me on stage with the iPad Pro. What a great program. I clip stage free for the program, and if you don't mind just you know, manually switching it's free, then add the foot pedal for uh, 80 bucks, basically. All right, guys, there's three more apps that I think will make you a better player. The Notion program is great for notating. It's great for figuring out if you're interpreting rhythms well and make your um, notations accurate. It's super simple to input. You don't have to... I never opened a manual on it, just a little trial and error, and of course you use me as a resource, that's a great program. Drum Beats Plus, $4.99, $4.99. You've got a really great drum machine, could make your practices a lot more fun, could be maybe make your songwriting better. I think it's a really great program. And of course, I clip stage, I just don't go on a gig without it. There are some people that just will make last minute changes and hand me sheet music and there's not enough time to put it in, but for the most part, with a little bit of communication with the music director, uh, I can show up and it's so much easier. A lot of that stress is gone. It's got its own lighting, so when I do uh, pitch shows and it goes dark, I don't have to have the little lamp uh, going on. I can just set uh, my iPad. I usually set it pretty dim, so I don't affect anything going on stage. It's just great, man. It's just made gigs so much easier. iClip stage, wonderful. All right, there's three more apps, uh, music apps that I think will make you a better bass player. Um, check out, I think I'm gonna keep this series going on as long as, long as I can find good apps that I think are valuable for you. Hey, thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope you found this helpful or interesting or fun at least, and I will see you at the next video.